If you are interested in starting your own podcast, we use Buzzsprout because it is simple and easy to use. Buzzsprout can get your show listed on every major platform while giving you the resources for a great podcast website, audio players that can drop into other websites, detailed analytics to see how people are listening to your podcast, and tools to promote your episodes. Podcasting isn't hard when you have the right partners, and that is why over 100,000 podcasters are already subscribed to Buzzsprout to get their message out to the world. Following the link in our episode descriptions, let's Buzzsprout know that we sent you. So in return, you will receive a $20 Amazon gift card from Buzzsprout while signing up for a paid plan. Most importantly, every subscription through our link is always appreciated and helps support our show so we can continue delivering the quality content that you guys listen to. That being said, back to the show. Hello and welcome to Comic Book Junkies. I'm Andrew. This is Joe. And as promised, this week we're coming at you with our hater episode, the ultimate haters in comic books. Obviously, most of these are going to be super villains since our superheroes usually aren't haters. Um, I don't think we have any special cases. But with that, there's not too much setup. I mean, we can get right into it. We're going to go through a list of names. Joe and I each have our own lists. And, you know, we can kind of talk about the reasons why and we'll just kind of bounce off each other until we can determine who might be the biggest hater in the comics universe. So, Joe, I bring to you our first subject, the Black Manta. There's a lot we could say here. So, this guy is pretty much perennial contender because he's pretty much going solely off of hate. Um, I don't know how many, like, solid reasons for him to hate Aquaman are defined throughout the books throughout the years, but this guy seems pissed off that Aquaman exists either way. Some notable things that he's done to Aquaman to solidify him being an ultimate hater are cutting off Aquaman's hand um, and also killing his child. So, <laughs> I mean, this guy isn't a big fan of Aquaman. We don't exactly know why in you know, most instances, but he's gone pretty far to solidify that he does in fact hate this man. And, uh, do you have anything to add to that? Do you think there's anything, anyone worse rather, or do you think that there's any other feats that you think really solidify Black Man as ranking there as a super hater? Well, what I did is I wrote down my top five super haters and I guess to start, what is a hater? I said it was somebody who hates a specific person or thing because there's a lot of evil villains but not all of them, or some of them are evil just in general, not because of the superhero or uh, whatever that may be, but Black Mana actually did make my list in my top five too. So I guess just to add on that, he did end up killing Aquaman's son, his baby and more so, his wife ended up leaving him over the situation, so Aquaman almost hates black mana as much as black mana hates aquaman i gotta imagine yeah and we'll never truly know um and you know that's kind of all i've got on black mana for that part the only other thing i'll say is the reason why he was a little lower on my list as far as my top five haters is because like ultimately he wanted to create like a uh, space in the sea where black people are the rulers and so because aquaman kind of halted that that's why he hates aquaman so much so it's not like he was just born to hate Aquaman, but it was, was him he? stopping him uh, from making his utopia that caused them to have this ongoing rivalry, and it's become a, like, they just hate each other thing in general, so he had to have made my list. Well, I'll be real with you. I didn't know about Aqua Wakanda. So, you know, uh, with that little bit of information, I guess I can see why uh, he might be a little bit pissed off at the fish guy. So with that, I already brought him up. Do you have another contender on your list that you'd like to propose? Yeah, I do. So I was first thinking about, because Spider-Man has one of the best rogues galleries in all of comics. So I was thinking, who is his biggest hater? And it was hard for me because originally I was thinking Green Goblin. Green Goblin is always instigating things with Peter Parker, whether that's like Peter's relationship with his uh, son Harry, or even when he put Gwen Stacy in a situation to die. Yeah, he dropped her off a tower. Yeah, so... (laughs) <laughs> because Spider-Man couldn't save her, like, that kind of sets up their, like, well, his hatred towards Spider-Man. And the only reason I would say he's a little lower on my list here, too, is because I don't feel like it's completely his fault. Now, I say that because <laughs> we see Norman fighting with his inner demon or goblin in this instance, but uh, ultimately he always loses despite how hard he fights back from being overcome by the goblin persona. So, uh, same kind of situation with Doc Ock, because 
because both Goblin and Doc Ock are pretty unique to the Spider-Man universe. They're big enough to transcend and just be Marvel villains in general, but uh, these two characters specifically are entwined with Spider-Man's origins and his story, but honestly, when it comes to his biggest hater, it's gotta be Kraven the Hunter because he hates Spider-Man just because it's the only thing that challenges him in regards to the hunt. He got so infatuated with hunting Spider-Man that he even kills himself on a high note after successfully capturing him, which you can learn more about by listening to our Craven's Last Hunt episode. Plug. But yeah, you know, I didn't even really consider him um, when I was thinking of this list. That's actually a really good one that you brought up. Um, Because, yeah, like you said, for, I mean, literally just go back and hear that episode. Everything he did in just that storyline was not just hate. I mean, it was self-pride and stuff like that. But a lot of that turned into hate that was directly channeled on the Spider-Man. So he ultimately blamed him for everything that went wrong in his life. But yeah, moving past that, I got one for you. I think you'll like this one too. I don't have a whole lot to say, but I have a little bit that sums it up nicely. So he's one of your favorites. He's Lex Luthor. He's one of the ultimate haters. And I mean hate in kind of a classic term of the sense when you think about it, because let's just put it this way. He hates, well, he judges humanity's savior, not on the content of his character, but from where he came from. And that is the main reason he hates him is that an alien might be better than him and he can't he cannot stand it you know what i mean like that's just pure it's like xenophobia he's just like i don't like you because of how you are and that doesn't always just come up in like how he demonstrates that but to a degree at its core that's kind of what it is he's like i don't trust aliens and you shouldn't either let's get this guy the fuck out of here i mean he hates him with every sense of the word you know like he doesn't let superman rest at any given point no lex is really high on my list too obviously because he's my favorite villain but uh you're absolutely right and i didn't even think of uh uh the point that you just made is that he basically is racist towards superman (laughs) and kryptonians but uh, what i had to say about it is the dude's hatred of super man transcends any evil he wants to cause to the world there are a lot of different takes on the character but getting back at superman has always been his number one priority if superman didn't exist lex may feel as though he was actually saving the world despite how things get accomplished in the show smallville he even despises the evil that his dad brings to this world and wants to be good but his only friend clark won't be honest with him about his secret identity and that ends up causing him to go nuts and i I feel like Dr. Savannah has a very similar story to Lex, but I feel as though he would still be evil outside of Shazam, whereas at least Lex thinks he's a good guy, considering he even uh, was president uh, before in comics, and he just wants to defeat Superman, so very high on my list of haters. I'm right there with you, and since I just tossed one out, do you got another one on your list? I'm sorry if we're going a little out of order for your power rankings, I'm just kind of shooting from the hip here. No, yeah, uh, I guess my other one... Pretty similar to Lex would be Batman's biggest villain, which is the Joker. Yep. First off, he killed Jason Todd, which is the second Robin, for those that don't know. Um, But he also crippled Batgirl, just to make Batman question himself. It's like his whole existence revolves around Batman. Yep. In The Dark Knight Returns, that uh, comic book and animated uh, movie, two-part movie, he's hanging out as a patient in Arkham Asylum and is fairly manageable until he hears that Batman's out of retirement. And so it's like that specifically is what makes him do everything that he does that's so twisted and dark. And I could see him committing some level of street crime regardless of Batman uh, just because of his upbringing and why he became the Joker. But moreover, I feel like he just has it out for the bat yeah and to kind of you know go along piggyback off what you said i uh you know when taking notes when thinking about this subject put it as he's like the annoying ex-girlfriend who no matter how many times you change your locks can still find a way to kind of like break in and you know what i mean because batman's dealt with this guy a thousand different ways a thousand different times but no matter what doesn't matter what he does you know ghosts her sets her straight changes the locks doesn't matter joker's right there joker's like why aren't you seeing me anymore and <laughs> <laughs> Is always just asking for, you know, I need, you need to resolve things. And Batman's not interested. He's just like, I want to hit you in the face. But also to what you said, uh, he's a menace to society, not just in the fact that he'll poison the water supply, but directly hating Batman. He literally attacks his butler, his friends, his children, anybody who Batman holds 
near and dear has either been paralyzed, hands chopped off, beaten to death with a crowbar. Nothing good ever comes when this guy's around and it's like, you can say, oh, he's insane. He doesn't know what's going on. But there's a certain level of like hate there for him to be so persistent with the same guy over and over again, you know? Like a girlfriend or like family. Like sometimes you love him, sometimes you hate him. This guy is treads the line there with how much he hates Batman despite his weird affection for him. With that, you got something else to say, Joe? No, I'm curious curious as to who else you got on your list. So I've got a, a few more that we haven't touched on, not too much to drag it out. Um, how about Dr. Doom? So Dr. Doom's not the highest on the list because he can sometimes be seen as, uh, in cases, like an anti-hero, you know, type deal. Um, I mean, he is like the ruler of a sovereign nation, so he has that in his regards. It's not pure hate. It's probably mostly vanity and arrogance, but he does hate Reed Richards. You know, they kind of pine after the same chick he lost. Back in the day, he hates his old college roommate, Reed Richards, because that he thought he might be smarter than him. Um, because, you know, Dr. Doom was trying to make this machine that can help communicate with the dead so he could speak to his mother, amongst other people. And Reed Richards is like, hey, you need to fix this part of it or else it's going to get all messed up. And, you know, Dr. Doom, he's arrogant. He's like, no, I know how to do it right. What would you know? And it blew up and that's what caused the imperfection on his face, just a small scar. And to piggyback off of that, He hates the entire world because he has a small scar and imperfection. So he looks at everybody like, oh, you think you're better than me because I'm not perfect? And that literally drives everything. He's got to prove that he's superior, but it's not just that. He hates everybody else because he knows he's superior or thinks he is. And he has, he feels like he has to prove it to them. So it's kind of a weird arrogance and hate type thing. But I mean, think about how pleasant Doom is to really anybody outside of like Sue Storm. It's not really great. He's not... (laughs) not a nice guy so you know there's a certain level of hate there at least to reed richards um maybe not the whole squad but you know they they're rivals he's a hater in the same sense that kang the conqueror is a hater you know what i mean like he wouldn't be super high on my list but you can see some causation or like a reaction due to reed richards making him a little more villainous do you want to hear uh one of my uh honorable mentions that kind of leads into perhaps my biggest bad that we'll go over i mean if you have more we'll go after but here's a little honorable mention which i thought was fun the hate monger is he one of the biggest haters does he hate more than these people because do we need to explain the hate monger to you it's in his name and uh if we do he's literally the clone of hitler so he's up there in terms of haters you don't think about him because he's not that not a major villain but He is one of the most hateful villains, if you think about it. (laughs) (laughs) I feel like that's true for all of, like, Captain's villains. I was thinking about Zemo, I was thinking about Red Skull, and, like, they're truly evil, so that's why they didn't make my list. Like, they'd be evil regardless of Captain America, but in that same breath, like, there's definitely something tying them to Steve Rogers. For sure. I just wanted to throw in the technicality that he has hate in his name, so, I mean, he is a hater. Yeah. But, uh, you got uh, another mention on your list? My biggest mention, and this is one of your favorite villains, has to be a Reverse Flash. All uh, right. Zoom kind of meets that category too, but I think Reverse Flash is the bigger of the two villains. So the Reverse Flash developed a plot that consists of specifically replacing Barry Allen as the Flash. The goal got so extreme that he finds a way to go back in time to kill Barry's mom and then frame his dad for the murder and Barry finds a way to try to stop him from doing more than that and that's what tampers with the whole timeline of everything and adds to the craziness that's the multiverse but he even tries to get his wife Iris to love him like she loves Barry and when he inevitably fails he vibrates his hand through her skull and kills her like a full lobotomy and making him my biggest hater his costume is literally the reverse of the flashes and there may have been renditions where he even tries to like get his facial features to look like berries so if that's not like specific then i don't know what is right and i agree with you so i knew you would you were gonna have him on your list too he's my number one in case you guys didn't already know i have a little bit of a list here for you that we can run through of terrible shit he's done to just barry solidifying him as my number one hater not just barry but to people so he's killed his younger brother out of envy for his success he 
has killed his career rival at the Flash Museum. He's killed every boyfriend that his crush has ever had and put her into a vegetative state, crippling her for life because she wouldn't date him even when single. So he's the ultimate incel as well. Went back in time and killed Barry Allen's moms and framed his dad for it, which you mentioned. Uh, he went out of his way to erase Barry's childhood friends from existence so that he'd be lonely. He pushed Barry down the stairs as a child. He moved Barry's arm so that he wouldn't catch the ball at a baseball game. <laughs> 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 he actually was the monster under Barry's bed and tormented him throughout his childhood. Killed Barry's wife once and tried to do it again when he got remarried. He was willing to allow Earth to be destroyed just because he wanted to make Barry feel bad for trying to save his mom from getting killed. He has retconned reality numerous times just to mess with Barry and the Flash family. And he once told Barry that when he goes back in time and kills his mom again, he will pose as a social worker so they can raise him as his own son. So, I mean, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't really know what else you can do outside of all of those things. Like, he he didn't just do big moments. He even went to the, like, small moments. Like, the little memories that would make you look back fondly on. Like, ruined his chance at catching a ball at a game, dude. He pushed him down the stairs as a kid. It's like, why? <laughs> <laughs> He's got a lot of extra time on his hands. I mean, when you're a living paradox that time doesn't have constraints to, I mean, I guess you got time to do do evil things to your enemies, but it's like, he hasn't done anything else outside of this. Yeah, dude, it, to your point, it's the very small moments that make him such a hater, but to the opposite effect of things, like, he's kind of shattered the whole DC universe trying to get at Barry. So it's just like, what else could you do to be more of a hater than the Reverse Flash? He hates him so much that he ruined the universe and like even the multiverse to an extent just to piss off one guy that he doesn't like even though he's from the future he never even met him i know <laughs> <laughs> i think uh what happened like in the future he's like some like uh acclaimed scientist who finds like a time capsule or like Barry's costumes in it and then he just learns about him and learns to hate him and just gets infatuated with it. I think somewhere along the line too there's something about bloodlines like I'm pretty sure that like Oh, yeah, you're right. I like, think Impulse there's... is somehow related in the family. We've gone over this in our Flash episode where I'm a little bit, you know, more up to snuff on the topic. But, you know, there's weird bloodline stuff going on in there, too. I don't know. To a lesser extent, Honorable mentioned, it's almost the same way with the other Zoom, except he frames it in the fact that he's trying to help Wally get better, but it's like you're literally just making his life worse. You're just twisted. Yeah. But the reverse flashes are some of the ultimate haters in the universe. Do you got any other mentions or anybody else you want to toss up there? Honorable mentions? I got a few. So when thinking about this list, the people that didn't quite make my cut, the leader, he's <laughs> a pretty big hater. Uh, Sinestro would be pretty high on my list. More so, he hates the Guardians and everything like that, but I know that, that Hal expedited his hatred, and so I guess those would probably be a few of my honorable mentions. Uh, how about yourself, Burger? Well, just thinking about it now, I guess you could frame Doomsday as one of the ultimate haters, because he literally just lives to hate, so <laughs> his whole existence and kind of drive is based on hate who else there was i guess another one i could go with is apocalypse because he hates everything that's weak <laughs> mutants and humans he doesn't like any weak mutants and he's i don't think he's a big fan of mutants obviously he wants the age of apocalypse i'd say you know he's kind of a, <laughs> a big hater i mean you could go with onslaught there's a lot of people that hate in the in the universe over there i, I feel like there's a lot of uh dr hate in a way or dr hate <laughs> more like dr light i mean he's got hate in his heart bro i mean read what is it identity crisis plug <laughs> plug but outside of that i mean i'm not even that sure how many people really just hate to hate you know what i mean i feel like we kind of covered the bases of the ultimate haters i mean thunderbolt ross kind of does he just really hates bruce banner it's like get away from my daughter <laughs> <laughs> but outside of that kind of hard pressed to figure it out oh maybe the kingpin i mean he's just a crime boss in general mm -hmm. so he didn't make my list but he really does everything in his power to make matt murdoch's life miserable as a blind uh, lawyer <laughs> yeah i guess that's true <laughs> brain Maniac just hates all lesser life forms. <laughs> yeah. Just hates dumb people. The, the Red Skull, no, he, he don't belong on the list. <laughs> just kidding. He's a fucking Nazi. It's like literally every Captain America villain is just a Nazi, so they all are in the running. The only other one I can think of is Loki, but even him, he's just kind of got like a space in like all that like 
mm-hmm. class stuff that's going on in Asgard and just being mischievous in general. Yeah, he's just a fucking prankster, dude. Like, he fucking walks around with, like, yo-yos in his pocket and all this other boring shit. Whoopee cushions and <laughs> 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 fucking Groucho Marx glasses and <laughs> just being a dickhead. Yeah, well, I'd say that concludes my list. Yeah, my list is all wrapped up as well. I think we pretty much covered it. I mean, you guys can decide for yourselves who's the ultimate hater. I'd love to know who you think. Yeah, let us know if we miss somebody. But yeah. I guess, Burger, what character do you hate more than any other character? Oh, this is an easy one because it's borderline irrational, but I've been starting to see this character in like articles talking about, whoa, this weird character could really make the Marvel Universe something. And they're talking about motherfucking dupe. I don't even know what dupe is. It looks like a like combination between like a booger and a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> it's Poop's first cousin, dude. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> classic i don't know i can't even put into full thought why and how much i hate it but i do it's like have you ever just like most art you know when you see it it elicits emotion it's like seeing dupe just <laughs> makes me irrationally mad <laughs> and i don't know man do you have someone that you hate even more than dupe uh probably equally so i still don't like the mandarin <laughs> <laughs> you just really gotta hammer that one home <laughs> yeah you can catch that in our top five worst villains but that dude sucks yeah he don't do a lot he's got a bunch of jewelry and he fights a guy in armor sometimes i guess i don't know he's not very notable to me well i guess because i don't have any other concluding thoughts <laughs> um what do you want to hit him with next week burger christ on a cracker i say why don't we go and do another reading episode i suppose we've got a few books left in our backlog that we can go over um you know some dc some marvel we just did the captain last time well out of what we uh been meaning to read because the joker made our top five biggest haters how about we read the all-time classic batman the killing joke i think that's a great idea it's a classic it's not too long i think if you guys want to read along for that one that would be a fun one if you haven't already there is also the adaptation that i believe joe mentioned off the top you could watch that um as well there's it's mostly true to the story they add some weird stuff that i wouldn't have advised but you'll get the gist of the story um but yeah i say let's hit them with that one And I'm going to hit them with one quick reminder real quick as well. You know, just to go ahead, find us on social. We're at CBJ Pod, the comic book junkies. Rate, review if you can. If you don't, no biggie. But it does help get us out there. And, you know, just spread the word. Tell a friend. Tell a neighbor. Tell the person you're buying stuff from on eBay. Who cares? Just spread the word. We appreciate it. So do all your podcasts. And with that, farewell. We hope you enjoyed. And we will catch you next time. All right, guys. Tune in for our episode of uh, The Killing joke. Later.